what is the worst thing you have done as a child? Um, probably eating the Tostitos. The worst thing I've done, I shit on my dad. Yes, the Tostitos were, um, in the garbage. You wanna, <laughs> you wanna elaborate that? So, um, yeah, I had to go really bad, and then my dad, my dad was on the toilet, and I just shot right there, which was really, yeah, that was awkward. Adorable kitty, tell me, oh my god, oh my god, oh, oh my god. Oh, dude, dude, wait, man, I mean, if you need more time, dude, I got, I got time. In the entirety of my life, <laughs> my biggest regret is when I was young, my mom died of cancer. When I found out she actually had cancer, I started pushing her away. I'm oh, just, go I'm, I've just been going through the motions since, since yesterday. Yeah, dude, I bet. I bet. It's probably, gonna, I don't know, it's probably gonna go on for a while, man. My biggest regret is not spending more time with her and being there uh, when she was alive. Because now that I'm older, I definitely like, wish that I had more time with her. Because my dad dying was but... like the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Because he, he basically uh, was in the hospital and like... He was there for a minute, and I didn't even know, right? Because I right, live on my own, and my stepmom didn't even call me about it. And uh, she finally called me and told me, right? And I showed up to the hospital, and he was in recovery, and he was actually downstairs in therapy in the hospital, like, doing his exercises when I showed up and finally saw him. And they were like, well, we're going to send him home. He's been here for a couple weeks, and I didn't even know. And I was just right. like, what the fuck, you know? And, uh, cause my stepmom kept me in the dark. So I went to the hospital and saw him and they were explaining to me, like, you're going to have to help him get in and out of the tub and all this other stuff. And until he gets right. back to his full strength, right? He was 70 years old. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what happened to him because my stepmom never told me that he just like ended up in the hospital. Right. And I showed up right. and he was weak as shit. And I told him, uh -huh. you know, like, Hey, I'm going to come over. I'm going to take care of you and all this stuff. And he told me like, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to waste your time, like in a weak ass way. Cause he was, you know, he could barely get his voice up. And, uh, right. and I was like, you know, no, I'm going to be there for you. And then two days later, my stepmom calls me, says, you need to come to the hospital like right now. And I went up there and mm -hmm. when I went inside, I, I, I said, where's my dad located? They told me he was in ICU. I went upstairs right. to his room and when I walked in, he was hooked up to all these machines and I was like, what's going on? And uh, Janice, Janice is my stepmom. She was said, do you want to tell him to my dad? And my dad worked up a breath and said, son, I'm dying. And I, and I was like, what? Uh, you know? And yeah, that's he's right, like, man. I'm dying. And, and the doctors came in and they had a big discussion and I was just like, what's going on basically? And they said, uh, you, you know, they were like, he has cancer, and it's gonna, <laughs> and the dialysis, I guess, spread the cancer really bad. So when I went in, right. they were like, he's gonna die of this cancer, but since he's on dialysis, we legally can let him stop treatment. We can stop cleaning his blood and let the toxins <laughs> take over and kill him instead of the cancer, right? right so right. they were like, he's got like, they said nobody lives seven days past that. And so <clears throat> we brought him home. And let him die, and I was with him that entire week. And my dad went seven days, and he fucking died like at 1:30 a.m. I believe, while I was holding his That's hand. Rough, man. So like, yeah, yeah. you know. And and my half brother was like on the other side of the bed with me. Right. So now he just died, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on, dude? Mm -hmm. I guess that's life, dude. 